my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Christina Wett and I do videos on lifestyle, fashion and beauty. Today's video particularly is a fashion video because I have been shopping online and I've been back to H&M because I sent back a few of the other bits that I didn't like from the last set. Um, and I've got a really big box because there were some more pieces online this time that I liked. Um, a few more pieces actually going a bit more into summer, although as you can tell through the window, it's still very gloomy. We haven't had any sun, I would say, for about a week at this point. So it's getting getting a bit desperate now, but we are actually in May. So this sort of pre-summer fashion. Um, yeah, so that's what this haul is going to be. So it's, you know, it's like long dresses, short dresses, that sort of thing. So it's clothes that you can still wear. It's not too hot to wear, like full clothes still. It's actually... I would still be wearing my thermals actually under any long dresses at the moment because it is so cold in the wind or in the shade like if you're not out if there's no sun and there's no and there's wind rather it's really cold <laughs> so yeah at the moment that's where i'm living i'm living in my thermals so i'm just gonna cut off these little plasticky things that cut into the box so beautifully yay how do we open this Okay, so it looks like it's a shuffle off. There's no tape. Okay, I think the lid just lifts. Oh, it does. <laughs> I haven't ordered online anything from H&M for about a year. Woohoo! So I've got a whole big box full of goodies to show you. So first up we have something purple. I believe it's a dress because of the size of the packet. So I'm going to open this and of course I'll link everything in the description box below. So how do we get in? Oh, it's a nice fabric. So what is this? Oh, this is a skirt. Oh, I know what this is. This is full length tiered skirt. So it's a maxi skirt and there's one tier there so that's cute looks a bit big it might be okay though linen blend and i got this in a size small might have to send this back and get a extra small oh no that looks okay so yeah that's cute so there's another piece to this because this is a two-piece so we we'll have a rummage there we go found it ah this is cute i'm not really normally a fan of purple but i really liked how this set looked on the on the um on the website so this is the top part to the maxi skirt oh this is very very summer oh that's so cute it's gonna be like a gypsy outfit really really cute so so cute Okay, so this one is very nice. I think it feels a bit like it's made from cotton. It's like a bit, bit cottony feeling. Um, it's really nice. I do really like it. However, it's a bit big for me. So this is a size small, and I feel like I need a, an extra small in this because this feels really loose around where I actually want it to sit, like here on my waist, rather than sort of on my hips. So I'm not, not a fan of this, especially not as you get older, you get a bit of this area. Um, yeah, so I prefer it to sit up here, but it feels like it's just going to go down and like with a, a tug, it's just going to be a bit, bit of exposure there. The top's really nice. Again, probably need an extra small in this because this area here is quite large and I've had to tighten it right up together almost at the back to get that effect, but then that feels like it's too tight around my back. So I feel like I need the extra small and I could give it some back space, but then this wouldn't be too baggy. So. Yeah, really, really cute, but I'm gonna to have to swap it for an extra small. Okay, so next we have something sage green. I love sage green. Linen blend, again, I think this was like a shirt dress with a belted waist. So this has got long sleeves and they're quite nice size. So they're like billowy a bit. Um, and it's a nice midaxi length, so it's sort of mid calf so that's cute really nice color again i got this in a size small i did get something in an extra small i think it was a dress um 
yeah that's cute so i'll try that on i'll give this thing a steam before i actually try it on for you because it will look better ironed obviously Okay, so this one's cute. It's too big. I definitely would have needed an extra small in this one. However, on the inside of my arms, it feels a little bit scratchy. So it's like, oh, it feels like the actual linen. It's like a bit raw on the inside. So I can feel it catching on like my downy fur on my arms and things like that. So I'm not, I'm not a fan of that anyway. Um, and also it's a bit too utility for me. It's like with the pockets here and the size of it. Um, yeah, so it's not something I'm going to keep, but it is cute and I really, really like the colour um, and how soft it is on the outside, but the inside just feels a bit, a bit scratchy for me. There is a cute side split on both sides and it's got sweet little like, faux horn buttons or tortoiseshell, I'm not really sure what they call this. Um, but yeah, really cute, but yeah, not for me, not my style at all, so this one's going back. Okay, right, so next we have this lovely blush pink something. I wonder why they don't always use the same bags to wrap their clothes. Because these bags are brilliant, I love these bags. The other ones, the thin ones, just rip. Oh, this is a satin dress. This is cute. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I love this. So this is 100% recycled polyester and this is that lovely blush pink dress that I've seen loads of um, times on the website. I just thought, should I buy that? Should I buy that? It's so pretty. It keeps coming up at the top and I think on H&M adverts on Instagram, I think I've seen it there as well. I know I've seen it a few, few places online. But yeah, this is a really long dress with a high collar and this feels gorgeous this fabric there's nothing wrong with this fabric at all it's really really nice and it's got a lovely tie waist so looking forward to trying that one on okay so this dress is so pretty i need to find somewhere really quick to wear it to because it's so so nice it does show every single lump and bump i've got like one of those vest bralettes on at the moment and it's showing the seam at the bottom so i'd have to wear like a body with this um, to cover any sort of lumps and bumps, that sort of thing. Um, but other than that, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful colour. The fabric feels really, really smooth. It's so nice. It's not going to break the bank either. So, you know, if it gets wrecked, because this is like a polyester satin, so they can pull, it's not the end of the world. But it is so pretty and delicate and so feminine and so me. This is an absolute keeper. It's really gorgeous. I love the little fluffy fluffy and puffy sleeves as well it's really such a gorgeous dress it does feel like it's clinging to me a little bit so if you're you know really averse to static items then this one won't be for you because I can feel it clinging to the backs of my calves um, I'm not sure how to get rid of that to be honest with you but I think yeah no if you move it around it just it goes back to being static so it has got that issue which you do get with a lot of uh, like satin fabrics anyway but yeah, no, it's really, really cute. I love this. I think it's really, really gorgeous. I think this would be a perfect bridesmaid dress as well. So any brides out there looking for something really classy and timeless for their bridesmaids, you know, they look pretty enough that they're not going to steal the show. This is the perfect dress for that. Okay, so this was gorgeous on the website and I'm hoping it's just as nice in real life. size small again so was the last dress I think I forgot to mention okay, so this one florally dress so this is high neck yeah that's the front with an elasticated waistband and it's a maxi dress all the way to the bottom and the bottom's got that lovely continuous pattern along the base and then it's like sporadically on the dress as well so oh this is gorgeous really really lovely for like a summer holiday evening that sort of thing so beautiful so this dress i actually love however i have got it on back to front at the moment because i'm in the house on my own and i could not for love nor money 
get these silly little buttons done up by myself. My fingers just don't move that way. I don't know why, but they don't. And these are little elastic loop buttons and the elastic's really, really tiny. The button's really, really tiny. I just could not get it done up. I also, your arms don't fit through the holes. So yeah, I couldn't do it up at the front and then spin it round. So it's on back to the front at the moment, but it's basically the same thing. I mean, you could wear it like this, to be honest with you, if you like this sort of, you know, risque outfit, to be fair, because it's not, it's not moving, you know, no matter what you want. I haven't even got the bottom button done up. So, but it is the back because the label is here. So that's how I know that's the back, but it is gorgeous. So I'm going to keep it and I'll wear it when I've got someone else in the house to help me get dressed. It's lovely. I really, really like the pattern. I really like the fabric as well. It's nice and light and I love the length. The length is right down to just sort of your toes peeking up front. So you can wear it with some nice wedges or you can wear it with flats. These have got a small heel. These are the June like raffia, wedge, um, raffia slides. So yeah, it's really, really nice. Lovely summer dress. Just gorgeous. I have another florally pattern dress and I couldn't decide which one I preferred so I got them both. This one is that lovely satin fabric as well. Oh it's so pretty. So this is another maxi dress with a ruched front. So it's got like the bralette sort of style and it comes right from under the bust right the way down to the floor that is gorgeous so it's like tickling your feet ankle height really really nice lovely pattern again lovely floral pattern and it's satin so it's really 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 nice fabric and it feels so nice gorgeous hmm. So this one I actually like a little bit more than I thought I was going to because I just thought it was going to make me look a bit frumpy here where the fabric comes straight off of the bust line and I don't have a bust worth mentioning so it's just a bit flat and then it comes out but it's actually really really nice. I would have preferred it a bit longer so I'm not, I'm not totally sold on it. I do like it more than I thought I was going to. But, a little side note, this would be a lovely, lovely dress for someone that's pregnant because there's enough fabric here that would just go over a bump absolutely gorgeously. It is really nice, you know, if you've got more of a bust, I think it would look a bit prettier so you'd have a bit of clavage showing, that sort of thing. But it is nice, it's got a side zip um, for doing up and it's a, that lovely satin fabric. So. Whilst I do like it, I don't love it, so I'm I'm undecided on this one. Let me know in the comments what you think. Next, we have something white. I can't remember what this is at all. Oh, no, I can. I can remember what this is. I've already got this in um, camel. So. Oh, I love this. Come on. This was sold out in my size for a little while. Um, and then it came back in stock just when I was ordering so I quickly added it to my basket and checked out before it sold out again because I'm obsessed with sleeveless blazer dresses and that's what this is it's another one and it looks linen blend so it might be yeah it's a linen blend so that's nice and it's obviously I love linen blend because it's you get the sort of the fabric feel of linen and you get the look of linen but it's not as crinkly as linen, so you know you don't look so dishevelled so quite so quickly. So I got this in a size small. It's really really lovely. It's gorgeous, just like the one I got in the last haul. But this one is white. So whilst I love this, I do feel like it's a bit big under this side, so it might be sewn a little bit wrong, or I might need an extra small. But I tend to find extra smalls under the arms are a bit tight because I've got quite a broad back so it might just be that this is a little bit sewn wrong I do love it though it's really really cute and of course it can be worn over things so you could wear it with like a blouse and a pair of leggings so you could wear it as like a jacket type outfit as well or you could just wear it as like a smart blazer dress so it's really really cute I do love it I love the fabric it's really really soft I do already have something very similar to this from a brand that I work with that I got recently I haven't worn yet so I'm undecided as to whether I need to keep this. It's a different fabric altogether. The other one is more of a crepe, whereas this is a linen blend. So one is a bit more dressy and this one is a bit more casual. So 
I'm undecided again as to whether to keep this one. I do have it in the um, like the camel beige colour as well, which I didn't notice was too big. However, since that last order, I have lost six pounds on my keto diet. I was like 8.13 and now I'm um, eight six and a half. So that might account for the bagginess. Whereas before I was definitely a size small, whereas now I'm kind of leaning towards extra small in a few of these items. So we will see. I'll have a think and decide what to do with this one. Now we have something beige or mushroomy colour. And I cannot for the life of me remember what this is. So this is a size small. I mean, I'm going to assume it's like a wrap dress, shirt dress, something like that. But that's what I sort of lean to at the moment when I'm purchasing items. Ooh, it's a nice fabric. Mm. Oh, it's got like a sheen to it. Ah, oh, I know what this is. Okay, not a dress at all. This is a sleeveless, it's a very nice, for summer, jumpsuit. Oh, it's really nice. How classic is this? It's got the tie waist and it's like it's got a waistcoat front and then it's got the jumpsuit and it's got pockets on the side. And it's a really nice, almost satin fabric. I'd say it's maybe like a crepe satin, but not like not crepe backed satin. It's, it's got a lovely silkiness to it, but it's also a bit crunchy, a bit squeaky, but you can see it's got texture. It's got like a pin, it's not a pin stripe because there's no stripe, no other color on it, but it's definitely got a striped texture. Ooh, lovely. So this one is definitely a keeper. I absolutely love this. I think it's so nice and it can definitely be like dressed up with heels or second, dressed down with some slides. So you could wear this during the day or just like get, running some errands, that sort of thing. It feels really, really nice as well. Or you could wear it with heels and wear it to work. It's a really, really lovely versatile piece and it's really, really comfy. There's pockets as well. They're a little bit far back, but there's pockets anyway. Yeah, it's really, really cute. I definitely love it. So I like the width of the legs as well. I'm not usually like a baggy leg type of person, but I think it works on this. It's really, really cute. There's that thing again where the pockets are slightly too far back, I think. Like if you're searching for your pockets, <laughs> they're really far back. But yeah, no, this is cute. I'm definitely keeping this one. And so penultimately, I have this yellow dress, I believe. Oh, it's really soft and lightweight. This is definitely, oh, a summer fabric. So this is 72% lensing Eco Vero Viscose. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. This is a very summery dress, very frilly. So this is the shoulders, that's the front. It's got a lovely scoop back that ties behind and it's full length again and it's lined very lightly oh it's really really pretty i don't know if frills are so much me but we'll see i'm a bit more like classic like british classic so even my furniture i haven't gone for like the french sort of dressing room so i'm more like straight lines classic timeless elegance rather than fancy bougie in your face um don't know what the word is but you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah try that on so this one's as I expected, it's too frilly for me. It is really nice and it, it is for people that wear this sort of thing, definitely a very nice dress because the way this is created, the way it comes across, there's no support there whatsoever, but it's stitched in such a way that it actually creates a very nice sort of sweetheart neckline. Um, I do like the back. So if it had this sort of a back without so much frills on the front, I'd probably say, yes, this was a me dress, but I'm just not a frilly type of like young girl dress kind of wearer. It's not my style. I do love the fabric. It's very lightweight. The pattern is very beautiful. It's that sort of lavender, heather, I'm not sure, but it's beautiful. And it's very pale, uh, like a pale lemon sort of buttery sort of color. It's really, really nice. But yeah, the style isn't me at all. And then this one I got in the extra small because it's knitted and I like things to not be baggy and I'm assuming that this is going to fit nice and close to my skin. And this is a very cute, very summer 
lightweight but knitted, so nice and warm for the evenings, dress. So that's cute, it's like cute cutout detail on the waist and it's got a crisscross back, so that's really sweet like that. Um, yeah, very simple, lovely little dress. I don't believe this was a lot of money to be honest with you. But yeah, it hasn't got the price on it, but yeah, really cute. So I'll try this on for you now. So this one's really cute. I have a dress like this, quite similar, like a crochet dress already, and we've left it at Villa and Mallorca. Um, so this would be nice to have something for over here in the UK. It's really, really cute. I think it's a little bit see-through. You can probably like detect where my nipples are in this. So I'm not sure how much I love it. Um, but it is cute, it's really really nice. This is the extra small. I knew it would be quite baggy on from the one that I actually have abroad that's quite similar in style. Um, but yeah, I do really really like it. Oh, it's a bit of red. Um, I know my partner would love this. And I do like the, the cross back, that's really nice as well. So I'm undecided on this one. I might keep it, but I, I'm gonna have to have a think about the nipple situation because I haven't got any bras that I could wear this with at all. Um, it's quite low on the back, so nothing really it's quite like side boobish if you had boobs yeah so we'll, we'll see about this one as well so that concludes this lovely pre-summer h&m haul if you liked any of the pieces please let me know in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you also if you'd like me to recreate this makeup look in a future video please let me know that too because i'm happy to do that and hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you again soon for another one take care bye